I love and I hate you, Mitch. He like purposefully, and I know why he does it, won't tell us what to do because that's the game. You have to survive on Mars and you gotta figure it out. And when you burn dust and you burn assets and items, like that's part of the game. That's what makes the game sustainable. So like, I fucking hate you, Mitch. Because I gotta figure this all out on my own, but I also fucking love you because I understand why we're doing it. That's a little bit of my rant on Millions on Mars. It's been a pain in my ass. It's even more of a pain in my ass when I'm trying to set up scholars and trying to teach them how to play the game, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I guess that's also part of the game, and maybe our guild shouldn't be sharing the secrets that we're sharing in these videos with the rest of the world, but that's what we do at the Lucid Lounge. You son of a bitch. We're going to go ahead and share what we do, public videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching today's video. As you can already tell, Millions on Mars is a pain, but I love this game. Let's jump right into how does it actually work. If you're starting as a scholar, what you should do first, how you should get stamina, how you feed yourself, how you make some money, all right? This is not financial advice. I'm a guy in my basement, stoned out of my mind, trying to colonize a digital Mars colony with all my friends. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having a really good time, and I'm actually making a lot of dust doing it. Let's get right into it. When you first get onto Mars, you're gonna claim some land, you're gonna set down some shiny buildings. First thing you're gonna wanna put down is two solar panels, or as many solar panels as you can, and maybe a water filter and your CAD generator if you can. You can wait for the greenhouse if necessary. The first thing you're gonna wanna do in the game is go click on this hand. This is where you're going to see jobs posted from other people that don't have stamina. You're going to use your stamina at first to do jobs to earn dusk. You get one dusk for every stamina you use currently on jobs. I'm going to try and do a job. Bam, successful job. We used a stamina, we got one dusk. You're going to want to do this at first to earn as much dusk as you can when you first get into the game. Okay? You're going to want to sit here and use all your stamina doing jobs. You should earn 16 dusk for your stamina. Now, when you run out of stamina, you want to eat snacks only. The most profitable way to gain stamina is eating a snack. You actually get, on average, less stamina if you eat a meal or a feast. So you have to come back every two to three hours and eat a snack to keep going to be the most efficient. Now, if you want to eat a snack, you need 30 food and 10 water, all right? Now, once you've earned your dusk, you can then go to the marketplace and search food, search food, and you can buy the 30 food, the 30 food. You can see we're at 103.92 right here. That costs less than 10 dusk to buy all that food right there. And we're going to go back. We're going to get some water. Keep in mind, you made 16 dusk out of zero. Confirm. That costs you seven dusk in food. So it costs you ten dusk, roughly. It costs you ten dusk to buy the food and water you need to eat. But you made sixteen dusk using your stamina. So you profit six dusk every time you do this loop by completing jobs over here. Just do a job. Simple as day. Bam. Successful. Job. Use my stamina. Alright? Now once you complete that loop... And you've got extra food and water, and you've got some extra stamina you can use on yourself. You can start charging in your solar panels. You're going to want to charge power cells. If you have the ability to charge power cell 2, this does 2 at a time. You're going to want to charge 2 at a time. In 14 minutes, I'll be able to collect my charged power cells. And then you can go to the marketplace, and you can sell charged power cells for 12.9 dust currently and buy empty power cells for 10.5. This is earning you more than one dusk per stamina, so when you can start this loop, it's more beneficial of a loop and more profitable than doing jobs on the marketplace, if that makes sense. And eventually from there, you can grow to using your stamina scavenging, if you have extra st stamina, and you can scavenge and get electronic bits, but I don't recommend that you scavenge until you've raised, this is actually very important, you want to raise 50 dust and go down here and purchase a novice scavenging tool. You do not want to use your stamina scavenging 
until you've earned 50 dust from doing jobs and the power cell loop and you can buy a novice scavenging tool. Once you buy a novice scavenging tool, you can scavenge away. Scavenge away and you're going to get all this fun stuff. You're going to earn more in stuff, more dust value in items, as well as you're really searching for ice right now. When you're starting out, you really want the ice, but everything else is sellable. You can even get dusk. I'll show you how to sell some of this. We're going to use the rest of our stamina while we're chilling right now uh, on scavenging here, trying to get some ice. We got some regolith, which makes soil. You want regolith and ice are important things. And then you also want scavenging XP. Look at that, 35 ice. Bam, that's important. So we have water over here. We want to make more water. Filter water takes uh, 40 ice. We have 84. We can do two. Oh, but we're out of stamina. So we can do one. Confirm. Bam. In six hours, we filter some more water. Very nice. We're going to go over here to our inventory. And you can see all this other stuff we have now from scavenging. We can sell this. Rover wires are completely liquid on the marketplace. We don't... I don't need them right now. There's no need for me to sell them. I'd rather earn more dust to grow in other ways. I'm trying to buy another solar panel so I can loop even more power cells at a time. Um, I think that's what's important to me. So I'm going to sell these two. I'm going to put the price down a little lower because it'll hit anywhere in the order book anyway. And I just want it to sell. Bada boom, bada bing. They sold. Claim. Almost one full dusk. I'm scavenging. Perfect. So those are the basic loops. For millions on mars to get you started once you're filtering water with extra stamina and you're able to turn you're able to make soil with the regolith and stamina and some waste and power you're good but really you want to work on building this power loop up and buying more solar panels at first and maybe some land and really just completing that loop where you have to buy food and water at first you can use your resource credits to buy food and water Everybody should get 50 resource credits to start. You can buy 50 food, 25 water. Bam! Right off the rip. You can get some full power cells, maybe some empties. Really important to use those credits as well from the start. Daily rations. Every day when you log into this game, you're going to get a daily ration. Never eat the daily ration unless you have to. It's okay if you're just starting the game the first couple days and you need to eat the daily ration to get some stamina to get your loops going and doing jobs, uh, doing work orders to buy food and water to then get the, get the turnover going. But you want to save your daily ration. Currently, and this won't be forever, if you save up 30 daily rations, you can get a free piece of land. For yourself and remember in this game if you sign up for this game even as a scholar of lucid united you own all your assets this is your wallet this is your land these are your buildings this is your dusk all of this is yours to do what you want you don't owe us anything there's nothing you need to send back to us or anything like that it's all yours to earn and make from we make money off of the market fees that go through the game and if you like this video, please sign up to check out the game in the link down below. Please use our affiliate link to check out Millions Off Million on Mars. Also, hit the subscribe button and comment down below if you're playing the game, what you're fed up with, what you like, what you don't like, where the what other loops you found to be profitable that I'm missing. 